50 KFYI. KFYI.com. You're live. And we are back at News Talk 550 KFYI. We're coming to you uh, live from what's called the Performance Studio here at the Clear Channel Compound. We are conducting a live press conference on our show here because we wanted to we wanted to give you a chance, uh, you the listener, to get a chance to hear what we have created, which is this product for politicians who are too busy to read SB 1070. Uh, we got some members of the press who are joining us here. And uh, real quickly, because uh, it was the genesis of this idea came from the Arizona Republican Party, I'd like to introduce the chairman of the Arizona Republican Party, uh, Randy Pullen. Come on up here, Randy. Uh, thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Uh, this idea kind of came to me when I was in Washington, D.C. a couple weeks ago because they're so busy in Washington, D.C. trying to get the work of the, the business of the people done, they don't seem to have the time to read these bills. So I thought we could turn it into an MP3 and mail it out to them and they can just stick it in their uh, player in the car and, or in their iPod and just uh, listen to the bill at, while they're coming in the works. They can understand exactly what the bill says. That way there'll be no reason for them to say, no, I haven't read the bill. At least they will have heard the bill and understand what's in the bill. So we contacted uh, Jim Sharp, and he was was uh, very interested and enthusiastic about doing it. And I think he's put together a tremendous, a tremendous uh, reading of the uh, of the bill itself. And I think we're going to have some fun with it this morning. All right. Thank, thank you, Randy. Yeah, we've uh, what we did is. Um uh, when, when I was contacted by uh, the good folks at the Arizona Republican Party, and just so you know, I, I, I'm not a shill, I'm actually a registered independent. Uh, just, just so you know, uh, uh, when, when I was contacted by the Arizona Republican Party, I said, this is a great idea, I love this. Um, the problem is these people are very, very busy. Uh, Janet Napolitano, who admitted in front of Congress that uh, she has not read the bill. Eric Holder, the Attorney General of the United States, who admitted he has not read SB 1070, yet was criticizing it. The President, who's not necessarily admitted he hasn't read the bill, but he's a very busy guy. He's got Iran to worry about, and and, and, and Felipe Calderon, who's bashing us here in our own country. Uh, he's got those things to worry about. Maybe they might not, uh, they might, they might not really enjoy what I read for them. And, and while it was nice that the Republican Party came to me and said, hey, we think you have a wonderful voice and we think you're the guy to record this, uh, I'd like to play you a little piece of what I recorded uh, at, actually at my studio uh, of SB 1070. And then, and then I've got a, a different product I wanted to uh, unveil for the politicians as well. So uh, Andrew, if you will, uh, our, our uh, really what we're calling the dry reading of SB 1070. Be it enacted by the legislature of the state of Arizona, Section 1, Section 1-501, Arizona Revised Statutes, is amended to read 1-501. Eligibility for federal public benefits, documentation, okay. violation, that's, classification. That's my own voice, and that's about all I can take of that personally. So uh, uh, we, we said, that, you know, listen, these uh, most of these folks who are criticizing the bill are lawyers. They should understand the law, and they're used to all this legal jargon, but they're busy people, so we wanted to entice them in a different way to, to listen to this. So what I've got here is I've got some iTunes gift cards. We'll be mailing uh, one of these to uh, Secretary Napolitano. We'll be mailing one to uh, the President of the United States, also one to the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, as well as uh, Los Angeles uh, uh, Mayor uh, Antonio uh, Villaragosa. Uh, and they will be able to download off of iTunes uh, what we're calling the dramatic reading of SB 1070. Uh, this first one, uh, and we have to point out these are uh, celebrity voices, the celebrity voices are impersonated. Uh, this is one, uh, we're just calling this gentleman Barack, and so many people are named Barack, you don't know who this could be. So, Andrew, if you will, uh, Barack's reading of SB 1070. Now, a lot of people are wondering what the law will entail. It's pretty simple. Now, here's the deal. For any lawful stop, detention, or arrest, made by a law enforcement official or a law enforcement agency of the state uh, of Arizona or a law enforcement official or a law enforcement agency of a county in a city or town in Arizona, uh, other than a political subdivision of the state of Arizona, in the enforcement of any other law or ordinance of a county, city, or town of the this state of Arizona. This is so boring. The reasonable suspicion exists. This guy grows on and on. I wish someone would pull the plug on his teleprompter. A reasonable attempt shall be made, when practicable, to determine the immigration status of the person, a law enforcement official or agency of this state or a county, city, town. Celebrity presidential voice impersonated. Uh, that's not to say that Barack Obama is impersonating a president. He's... Oh, never mind. 
So you know, we kind of figured that uh, the president does enjoy hearing his own voice, um, and so he might uh, really uh, then become familiar with SB 1070, where he'd be handed this. We also thought, you know, let's let's mix it up a little bit and have some fun with some celebrities, uh, put them in there as well. Uh, and when the folks uh, who will be sending these iTunes gift cards to download this off iTunes, there's a gentleman named Jack who also will be reading SB 1070. Any natural person who applies for a federal public benefit that's administered by this state, dot, 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 shall submit at least one of the following documents to the entity that administers the federal public benefit, dot, 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 an Arizona driver's license issued after 1996, or an Arizona non-operating identification license. Do I have to read this whole thing? Uh, just do whatever you want, Jack. Good, let's just get to the sexy part. This section shall be enforced without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, disability, or national origin. And you people call yourselves lawyers? You can't handle the truth! Lousy celebrity voice impersonated. By the way, how's that low sons thing working out for you? Uh, of course, uh, there is a gentleman named Jack who's quite a Lakers fan as well. So uh, we just thought with this uh, dramatic reading, we might encourage uh, politicians who continue to criticize Arizona, uh, in fact, continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with foreign leaders and criticize Arizona. Uh, they might take time to actually read the bill, become familiar with it before they criticize it. Criticize it all you want. We're fine with that. Um, I, I, frankly, I'm not com comfortable with 100% of this bill either, but it's you can't criticize it until you've read it, and obviously I've read it. I read the whole thing uh, several times uh, in my studio and uh, it took a lot of editing because I'm not a lawyer. Um, and it's just a, it's a way for us to make sure that people are familiar with us. Well, Jim, just so you know, this is Randy Pullen. I'm very comfortable with the law. That's because, as you know, I've been involved in this uh, effort for the last five or six years and I've seen it develop. And I understand, uh, been to court many, many times over immigration issues, probably seven or eight times, including uh, the Ninth Circuit. We also had to go to the, uh, the Supreme Court over Prop 200. And we won every time because it is legal for states to enforce federal laws. I mean, in fact, when the law was originally passed back in 1996, it was intended that the states would assist the federal government with the enforcement of the law. So I think what we're really doing is following through on what was always intended with this law. Now, uh, the President of the United States made a joke out of our law basically saying, you, you know what happens if you don't have papers in Arizona, adios amigo. Now, that's not a joke. I mean, we have serious problems in Arizona. We all know this. We know what the, the issues are here. And to, to try to make light of it in, this, uh, in that way is, is just not a positive thing. The real joke is that they would, and this is typical Washington, D.C., they would, would in, basically go after our governor uh, in a, very nastily as if uh, she had done something wrong. And she hadn't done anything. She did exactly what the people of Arizona wanted her to do. Uh, so the real joke is that we have Washington politicians and bureaucrats, now Janet Napolitano, who cre helped create the problem here in Arizona, is now back there in Washington, D.C., and she hasn't even read the bill. What we have, the j real joke here is that the Washington, D.C. types just don't get it. They really don't get what the people of the United States are talking about. The fact that a poll just came out yesterday saying 65 percent of Americans support what we're doing here in Arizona, I think is a pretty good indication of where the American uh, voter is on this issue. Uh, yeah, Randy, you make a really good point. One of the other things that has bothered me about the um, criticism of this bill is it seems the people who are criticizing the bill would, are happy with the status quo, and nobody gets hurt more by illegal immigration than the illegal immigrants. They're the ones who are being left to die in the desert. They're the ones who are having uh, something held over their head by their employers. They're the ones who are being held in drop houses. Uh, children are caught up in this. They are the ones uh, who are hurt most by illegal immigration, and that's why uh, Arizona stepped up and said something's got to change on this. Now, uh, we are a slave to the clock on this since it is a, uh, a radio program. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll come back, and if uh, any of the reporters who have joined us here today would like to ask a question or two, we will do that. Stick around. More of our pro live press conference here as we debut the dramatic reading of SB 1070 on News Talk 5. 550 KFYI.